what we found is that um, there are moments this won't surprise you at all, that uh, feel more like fresh starts to people. And the one that we're all familiar with already is New Year's, right? This is a moment when around the world, people are setting resolutions at a higher rate than usual, trying to pursue goals at a higher rate than usual. And it feels like a fresh start. The psychology of New Year's is actually turns out to be familiar uh, and, and extend to many other moments. But the psychology of New Year's is you can say sort of, well, that was the old me last year. The old me couldn't achieve this, you know, right? The old me tried mm. to quit smoking and failed, but, but that was a whole different person. The new me and the new year can do it. And you feel this dissociation from your past failures and this renewed optimism as you open a new chapter in life. What we found is that New Year's is actually just one moment that has that new chapter, fresh start feeling. There are lots of other moments on the calendar and in life when we also feel we're turning a page and can get that same dissociation from past failures and and motivation. uh, And and also the likelihood that we might actually step back and think big picture about our lives is greater. So some of those moments include, according to our research, the start of a new week or a new month, the celebration of holidays that feel like fresh starts in our culture, um, the celebration of birthdays. And of course, there's other research looking not only at these sort of psychological or temporal markers that give us the sense of a clean slate and a fresh start, but if you physically change environments, that has not only psychological appeal and, and mm-hmm. help helps you, but it can literally disrupt routines in a way that's helpful as well. So we've shown people are more likely at these temporal landmarks, we call them, or new beginnings, to do things like visit the gym or set goals on popular goal-setting websites online about everything from their finances to their health to their education. And if you encourage people to make a change at those moments, a moment that has a label on it, like, hey, you know, want to make a change on the first day of spring or after your next birthday, it turns out that's more attractive. People are more likely to do things like start saving in a retirement account when you invite them to, or just pursue goals uh, beginning at those times when you give them those labels. Then if you invite mm. them to save it at an identical moment or change at an identical moment, but don't it, don't even point out that it, it corresponds with the first day of spring or a birthday. So um, that was a really, I, I'd say, exciting line of research. And it points to the power of taking advantage of these moments in our lives if we want to make a change and encouraging others to make changes and providing with, with the resources they need to make changes at those moments when we feel like we have a fresh start and, and are therefore more naturally inclined to change. Hmm. 